I felt called today to share some messages from my guides that encouraged me to be intentional with my thoughts and my actions. So I thought that I would share those messages that I received with you all today. Welcome to my channel, Light Minded, and my name is Tony, and I'm a licensed therapist, and a lot of my videos are really geared to changing your mindset and improving your thoughts. So while I was journaling this morning, one of the messages that I got was, if you're feeling alone, or if you're not feeling supported in your current circumstances, my guides, my angels, my spiritual team, you know, they really let me know and communicated with me that we are never alone. We have tons of spiritual beings around us that are supporting us, that are working behind the scenes in our favor. So in those moments where you do feel alone, know that you're not alone. Ask for a sign. They are able to communicate with you. If things are getting really challenging, maybe you're experiencing like a major life challenge or you're going through some type of adjustment like maybe divorce or maybe a loved one has passed away, you can always seek help. You don't have to go through it alone. Seeking therapy is a healthy way to start the healing process. So if you're feeling alone or not supported, I'm really encouraging you to get the help or the assistance that you may need. So did you know that you determine whether you have a good day or a bad day? or a good experience or a bad experience, it's all based on your mindset. It's all based on how you look at things. I encourage you today to focus on ways that you can ground yourself and be intentional with your thoughts and your actions. So being mindful takes practice. It's not something that you learn overnight and it's something that you have to utilize every day. I know for me in my day to day, I have to intentionally be mindful and I have to put an effort to make sure that my thoughts and actions are intentional. So another message that I received from my guides was about change. My guides were saying that a lot of us fear change. Change is a part of life. We are here today based off of the changes that have happened. And some of you may view this as a lovely thing and some of you may view this as a horrible thing. It's all about your perspective, but change has gotten you to where you are now. So I encourage you to look at change in a positive way. You know, speak into existence that change is coming into your life to bring you beautiful things and abundance and great health instead of thinking as change in a fearful way or change that is gonna impact your life in a negative way. Also remember, if anything is removed from your life, you know, reaffirm to yourself that it's for your highest good. It was part of the plan. So let's go ahead and see what messages Spirit has for us today to encourage us to be more intentional with our thoughts and our actions. I hope that each and every one of you are doing well today. And feel free to come back to this video. This is a timeless reading. I'm really just wanting to reach out to Spirit to give us words of encouragement, to keep us mindful, to keep us intentional. So we're starting off with fulfillment of wishes, which is the number nine. This is all about your wishes being granted, wishes being fulfilled. So I think this is a beautiful card when it comes to your mindset, when it comes to your perspective. Think about the things that you do want. Think about the things that you want to attract into your life. Don't focus on what's going wrong. Focus on what's going right and what you want to come into your life. There's a cool manifesting technique and it's called, wouldn't it be lovely if? And behind that if, put in whatever you want to happen. Wouldn't it be lovely if I found $100 on the ground? Wouldn't it be lovely if I got a new job? Wouldn't it be lovely if I found the love of my life? This fun little statement can really increase your vibration. So I feel like this card is really reminding us to focus on what we want, focus on what we want to bring into our lives, and really be intentional with our mindset because we are always co-creating. Our reality is only a reflection of our internal world and our thoughts. Let's see what other messages Spirit has for us. All right, so we have authority, number four. Number four represents stability, your household, really, most importantly, your foundation. I feel like with this card, I'm getting the messages that you are the authority of your life. You are more powerful than you know. Your thoughts create things, your energy creates things. So this card is reminding us to take back our power, remain in our power. We control whether we have a good day or a bad day. We control whether we have a good experience or a bad experience, no one else. When you allow other people to take your power or you allow other people to throw off your day and you become a victim, 
then that's when you lose your power. Tap into this energy of authority and know that you are your ultimate authority figure. You control everything in your life. All right, and we have third eye chakra. So I feel like this is more of an internal card. You know, are you checking in with yourself? Are you asking yourself how you're doing? That's a beautiful exercise. Just like you talk to other people throughout the day, it's really important to talk to yourself. Ask yourself how you're doing. Check in with yourself, check in with your emotions. But with your third eye, this is about your intuition. This is about you listening to those intuitive nudges. So make sure you're doing things to ground yourself so you're able to hear those messages and get that insight from your spiritual team and your spiritual guides. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a few more cards to see if Spirit has any more messages for us today. We have the Knight of Pentacle. So know that you are on your divine path. What is for you is for you. It will flow into your life. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow and melodic energy. So this is like a step-by-step -step energy. So I'm getting this energy of like, you know, things will happen in divine timing. There's no point in rushing it or trying to control it. That's only gonna mess things up. The universe is working behind the scenes in your favor. So know that you are moving towards success. Really affirm that to yourself. You are moving towards success. You are deserving, you are valuable. Two of Swords. Some of you may have to make a choice and you may feel a little confused. You may feel a little bit conflicted, but Spirit is saying when you feel that resistance or you feel like you don't know what to do, Spirit is saying pause. You know, maybe go within, meditate, check in with yourself, really pause and really try to listen to your inner voice. When it comes to anxiety and doubt and stress, that voice in your head is loud. It rushes you, it causes you to be alert. But when you listen to your inner voice, it's more of a whisper. So if you feel like you need to make a choice or you're not sure what to do, Spirit is saying, take time to go within to listen to that whisper. Listen to your inner voice. And we have the King of Wands. This is all about focus, determination. You have the world in your hands. You control your reality. You are the King of Wands. You are the King of your future and your path. So make sure you're not giving out your power to other people or situations. Really make sure that you're living your life intentionally and you're living in your power and you're living from a place of groundedness. If you found this video helpful, please share this video. Please like this video. So remember, you are the most powerful person that you know. Your 3D reality is a reflection of your internal world. If there's something that you don't like on the outside, that is your signal that it's time to go within. And remember, you are not your circumstances. Circumstances are temporary. So be sure to be intentional and focus on the things that you do want to attract into your life.